Hey guys, today I wanted to show you one of the best players on the App Store, which is called Melodista. So it's an updated version and this is mainly the reason why I'm making this video because it's got hugely updated since I made the first video about this player. So it was about two months ago. Now it's a complete interface. It's very easy to use and intuitive. It's got a solid rating on the App Store of 4.3 or even 4.6 on the International App Store and it's updated twice a week. So you're getting updates more frequently than and Apple pushes their own iOS updates to your devices. Uh, so yeah, in this video, I wanted to go through every single feature and show you how to use it, what support, or what kind of files does it support and stuff like this. So yeah, it's gonna be a very quick video. So stick around and let's go ahead and get started. And first of all, I wanted to show you quickly what type of media and what type of import settings does it have? What kind of sources does it have? So first of all, click on this cloud button. So you will see now the files app, Dropbox, Google Drive, or even iTunes file transfer. And an extra uh, source for this player is the audio imports from the other app. So you can basically import uh, audio files from any app you guys want. So if you're using, uh, for example, some app to download files, you can actually use that to import uh, these tracks into this Melodista player. So it's super simple. There is a very easy instructions. Of, of course, I'm gonna show you how to uh, follow and how to do this. And first of all, yeah, in the files app, you can also select multiple files at once so you don't need to go one by one selecting all of this uh, stuff and this is the most requested feature uh, that has been there for this player now the next one is editing the metadata so for example I'm gonna uh, do like this and I'll click on edit button so now I can change the picture of the song actually the title and the artist and there's one extra feature that I've added to this player is auto select artwork from the web so there is a library that hosts all of these artworks so you can click on that and then it will automatically uh, put the artist name into here, but better just put an album name if you if you know it. So just click on OK. And as you can see, that will automatically put the new artwork into here. So you can go ahead and click on Next. So this is Next and Next. And you can select, of course, the artwork from this library and put it into here. So it's super convenient and super simple. And now when it comes to sorting, if you import anything to this application, it should be uh, visible on the top of this list. But you get some other options in here. If you click on this button, as you can see, there are some other options to sort by author, uh, oldest first, newest first, or alphabetically. So super simple and super easy for you to sort all of the songs and tracks that you have in the Melodista. And there is also a dedicated settings menu in here so we're gonna go inside of here and see so yeah there is an option to actually contact the developer and join the telegram for updates or even the Instagram and you can actually go ahead and support this project on patreon so if you guys will like it uh, you know it's super welcome if you support this project on the patreon because obviously this will keep uh, this app without ads like forever <laughs> and there is also a dark mode available in here so if you go ahead and toggle that on as you can see the player becomes black everything is in true dark mode which is super nice and now once we go back we can get now go ahead and go inside of the playlist and now in the playlist you can actually create them so pick the artwork of course so we're gonna just name it something like this add tracks so it's super easy to add tracks and then of course rearrange them as you can see just like that also you can do the same in the playlist and now create this one so yeah it's gonna be somewhere in here and now the player itself let's wait for this apple music like transition effect so yeah it looks exactly like that so let me just go ahead and switch to other song for example this one now in here as you can see they look super clean so i've tried really my best to make it super clean for you guys and now there are some options like the repeats or even uh here you will see the sleep timer shuffle songs edit metadata or even share this song right away so you don't need to go back to the first page so yeah guys here is everything about that app and a last thing i wanted to show you is how to import your files from the other apps so it's super simple so just follow along and let me show you how you can do this and okay so in this case i'm using telegram messengers when i've actually got some songs here so i'm just gonna click on one click on here and then click on this three dots so usually in this apps you will have three dots or the sharing button so i'm just gonna click on that and now i'm just gonna click on this sharing button so click just on this one and now just click on the copy to melodista that's it so super simple to do 
And as you can see, sounds no copyright. This is the song which I've just imported and I can just play it like this. And yeah, guys, I think that should be pretty much it for today. Just wanted to quickly show you all of these new features of updated Melody Stop Player for your iPhone or iPad. And I will really, really appreciate if you go ahead and download this application and just try it out at least. So the link for it is going to be down below in the description for you guys. And yeah, guys, I thank you so much for watching this video. Just make sure you uh, click the like button if you like this player and also please share the video Video, so that will be also super much appreciated and as always guys i really really hope to see you on the next one and peace out